Hey, guess what? What? It is I, Rubix. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to The Division. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a grind. I've learned a lot though, and I want to share some of my early Division experience with you guys. So, as fun as the Dark Zone is, also it being a very important part of the game, not just for PvP, but for high-end weapons, I think it's much smarter to work on missions and getting your character level up, mainly so you can upgrade your base of operations first. Now for you guys that are pretty new to the Division, or just haven't played it yet, the base of operations is essentially your home base, and as you do missions you are able to gain credits which unlock and add upgrades to your three wings. The three wings being the medical wing, tech wing, and the security wing. As you unlock these wings, you gain incredibly valuable abilities, talents, and perks, which you won't get unless you upgrade and unlock these. So, my strategy for release was, sure, mess around a little bit in the dark zone, but the majority of my time has really been focusing 100% on these missions, and upgrading my wings to 100% eventually. Also, getting to the current max level of 30 is a goal, and we're getting there slowly but surely. Now, once we get to level 30 and have 100% of our wings upgraded, then it's time to really have some fun in the dark zone. Obviously, obtaining Dark Zone rank 50 is the current max for the Dark Zone rank, but entering the Dark Zone at a max level of 30 with a full arsenal of skills, talents, and perks is going to be pretty damn important, especially for the fact that you will have all of your perks and talents available, unlike some people. Now, if you don't level up and just decide to rank up in the Dark Zone, you're going to be losing highly important perks and skills. Not technically losing them, you just don't have them yet. So, I'm finally in the 20s, I have my wings around 70% completion, and really getting close to finishing up these PvE missions. One major thing that wasn't available in the beta was the crafting station. This is another important tip, especially if you are new to this game. Every weapon and item you loot should be deconstructed. Sure, you can sell some items to a vendor and get some money for them, but in the long run, deconstructing weapons, armor, and equipment will give you the needed components for the crafting station. Now, I'm sure you've heard that some of the best weapons and items are in the Dark Zone, but maybe what you haven't heard is that the crafting and crafting station will give you some of the best weapons, items, and armor in the game as well. As you get to a very high level, you will obtain blueprints for super rare weapons and armor. And those blueprints require a large amount of deconstructed components. And yes, from the crafting station, you can eventually craft the high-end rare yellow items. So, it's been a grind so far, but really, it's been a lot of fun. Some of these missions are visually stunning, entertaining, and actually engaging. There's bomb defusal missions, boss missions, and other missions that will take you all over the city. Now, another thing of importance, Make sure every time you go to a new district, you find and locate the safe house. Inside the safe house, you will see a board with a map on it. Activate that board to get a variety of side missions. These side missions will be available around the area and is another really good way to level up. Another thing to note, if you're running low on missions, go to the next district, which you can look at by viewing your map, and venture to the safe house in the new location. Once you unlock the safe house, you can fast travel back there, which is a huge time saver. Now don't be afraid to take a mission on that's a few levels above you, especially the 500 credit missions which randomly group you with other players. These missions are the fastest way to upgrade your wings and will grant you perks and talents much quicker. Plus, some of these other guys in your group might be a level or two higher and they will carry you. Just do your best really enjoying the division so far. We'd love to hear what you guys think of the game and if you are enjoying it as well. I also hope to see you peeps in the Dark Zone fully geared in the very near future. If you like this content, please check out my main channel. I have a lot more goodies and division videos over there for your viewing pleasure, which I'll link below this video. As always, I highly appreciate your time. Please leave comments and feedback below. I'll do my best to answer them. My name is Rebrex, and I'll see you soon.